Hey guys, this is DK Spencer. So I have uh, been asked by a few people uh, because I'm always showing off my wall, but I'm really never taking the time to say much about it. <laughs> so I just will get it kind of halfway neat looking and I'm proud of myself for looking organized for a minute. So I'll show off a little bit and that's about it. So, uh, you know, people were like, hey, what's that second one down on the thing? What is that? What's the other? Oh, man, just tell us what they are. All right. So this is uh, air guns and less lethal. We're not going to touch on anything else. So <clears throat> this is Arsenal. This is a VKS. It's 63 or 64 jewels. Um, it's one that I've got posted on my website for sale. Gosh, the color looks like crap in this light. Yeah, that's more what it looks like. But anyway, <laughs> so um, it comes with a uh, Magpul grip and that uh, fancy cutout one. Can't decide which one I think looks better. I kind of think the Magpul might, but I'm going to let it go with both of them. So anyway, VKS, variable kinetic system. Um, I set my shoot shape projectile. I shoot BK kinetic shape projectiles in my VKSs, and I run 685 smoothbore barrels, the uh, power barrels from... Uh, Charles at Merciless Lethal and me. Um, they're made by Lapco, but we designed them. But that's what I like to run in one. All right, this is a TCR. Most people know what a TCR is. This is my one that is called Teacher's Pet. I had to look for a second there. <clears throat> Nickelodeon's up there. So Teacher's Pet, it's 50 some jewels. Um, TCRs, I really, really, really like their ability to shoot uh, chemicals. Um, and I've actually, that one right there, I've actually thwarted a bear attack, not an attack, but well, if you're food, then it was an attack. But anyway, so I have shot a bear with that one and it was very successful. I was pretty proud of that. There's two videos of it on my, uh, uh, YouTube. So, um, this is project CO2. This was uh, donated to the channel by Harry Wu, my boy, Harry Wu. I'm telling you, good guy, great guy, actually. Um, I wish, he's not even technically my customer, but I wish every customer was as good as him. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, this is uh, CO2 powered. Um, we've run one 88 gram through it and a couple of 12 grammers. We're just gonna see when it breaks. Um, yeah. So that's good times. Do I recommend running CO2 on a VKS? Uh, no. <laughs> no. That's kind of the point of this project is to show you how unreliable they are. Um, so so a couple of HDSs for the T4E gang. Um, those, I think we're like 21 joules on each of those. Um, sometimes I run them with air. Um, but I, yeah. Last time I hooked a huge tank on one of them, I started hearing a little the cramp and I was like nope so anywho so those will probably just be co2 from now on all right so we've got an hdb now as you can see that one's full of inerts um and I was going to do a project or a video with that there's a reason it's loaded with those normally that one's loaded with uh, chemicals that one at this time has not been modified actually no 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 i'm sorry that one has been modified it's about 65 if you run air on it um i believe it's definitely less than my other one want to see my other one there's the other one it's over 70 and it's broke <laughs> because of that all right so then we've got the western rattler 357 uh, that's an air gun 366 plus joules that's the manufacturer rating on it um, it's a beast. Uh, it, it's a beast. It's like a subsonic nine millimeter. It's the ballistics of like a subsonic nine millimeter. So your uh, silenced uh, MP5s, like you know, die hard. That's hitting as hard as a suppressed MP5 with a subsonic round. Uh, so quite nice. Uh, and the difference is, and and bear in mind, the barrel starts back here. Okay, so that's a honking long barrel. All right, so versus an mp5 you're actually going to get a lot better accuracy out of this than an mp5 all right <clears throat> so this is a sidewinder as you can see the mags out of it i was actually playing around earlier i should have put that back in for the video but whatever uh sidewinders are smaller full auto versions of rattlers that's a 30 cal um i love them both um 
the sidewinder is a lot more portable and usable as far as you know carrying it and you know flicking around with it and whatnot uh but it's not even not even in the ballpark with the power now it is more powerful than a leshy uh which there's got a leshy over there but let's not get ahead of ourselves all right so we got two hdx's right we're getting ready to do another video with the hdx's um because frankly i kind of forget where we're at I, we were like i think it was like 40 something or whatever but as I remember, kind of non-consistent, but still works great. But <laughs> So we're going to revisit those. That I was actually planning on doing that today, but it's been crappy weather and the whole family's been sick and whatnot, so uh, I didn't get around to it. Um, one of those I've not modified yet. Um, I've got an 88-gram conversion coming, so I'm going to do that all at once. I do have a three-part video on how to modify HDXs, like start to finish. Uh, they are probably one of the most complicated it's not that complicated but but like if you're starting out don't start with an hdx to modify it because they kind of come all apart when you you know you gotta kind of take them all apart and put them all back together and you know whatever again it's not rocket surgery but it's definitely harder than like a hdr 68 all right so we got a leshy 2 30 caliber as i said not as strong as sidewinder but obviously not as big either and it does fold in half Unlike the AEA stuff, the Leshy does not shoot when it is folded, which is actually a pretty good safety feature. When it's folded, you can fit it in the backpack very easily. Is the Leshy strong enough to use as home defense? Yes, but it doesn't have any knockdown power. Um, you can you could kill somebody with it, uh, and I've said this in videos before, you might actually have to to stop them um, because it's just punching little holes and they're bleeding inside and da, da, da. it's not the same as, oh, well, let's say something like that. Now, is it as deadly as that? It's more deadly than a VKS. Um, VKS, though, uh, it, they're, yeah. <laughs> Watch the video. Um, I've posted it a couple of times. It's an older video, but a video I did with one actually less power than this one. It was only 49 joules in the video, and it absolutely destroyed a ballistic head. Um, it was pretty epic. I like that video. <laughs> I might do a remix of it or something. So there's a Tip X. So that Tip X has a TCR valve in it um, and a TCR barrel. So definitely, you know, kick. I think, I don't know, like, is it 50? I don't know. I can't remember. It's been a while. That one is my midnight edition by my own naming and creating. My midnight edition of uh, Patrol Carbine. This is my baby. This is my kinetic. If I'm if I want to show off kinetically, that's what I use. It's only 74 joules, um, but that's the strongest thing that I've got, and by far the strongest thing that you need. Um, 74 is pretty crazy. Uh, like I know a lot of people have a lot more power out of stuff, but if you see the damage 74 does, that's you know you're you're creeping into not less lethal at that. A headshot from that is a hundred percent lethal. A headshot from 50, uh, watch the video, headshot from 50 is lethal. Um, 74, I would not even want to really test that on somebody um, without them wearing some Kevlar or something. All right, so then we go up here to Temptation. So Temptation is uh, a VKS Super Shorty with a custom tank. This is the first one that me and Brenda BK did together. She did the tank, I did everything else. That one's 53 joules. The one beside it is Sandstorm, the man of the hour, everybody after Sandstorm. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, I'm not sure the rating on Sandstorm. I have, I need to uh, I need to shoot it and everything. It's It's been a little bit, um, I've shot it, I just haven't like tested it yet. Um, definitely shoots good still. It was only shot like twice or whatever and it made its way back to me. Um, so yay. Uh, TCR, that one is the Nickelodeon edition. It's called the Nickelodeon because the badge on the other side is upside down. Um, it's usually all black, but you know, whatever. It was feeling froggy. So that one is still to be named. Um, that one currently is tuned for the Grimberg Kinetic Chemical Rounds. So I got it sitting at like right at 37, 38 joules. Um, so yeah, that should be kind of neat. All right, that's my personal super shorty, my two personal super shorties. Uh, the Green Goblin, somebody asked me about the Green Goblin today. I said, you don't want the Green Goblin, trust me. 
the green goblin is my beater like that that thing whew, yeah it, it's uh i wouldn't sell it for nothing uh because number one i've had it forever it's been around and you know it, it's it's kind of worn um but it's you know nostalgic too but the silver tongue devil the one beside it which obviously you can tell which one's the green goblin which one's silver tongue devil so i'm running it just about 50 um and it is the one that i carry absolutely the most i've got a hollow sun on it i've got a g series on it um i like to say about 50 joules um that thing it's really really reliable looks really nice i love it um so you know some bb guns and stuff so i got another patrol carbine uh just because i love mine so much i'm eventually going to get around to making me another one um i do not plan on selling um i may but don't ask me about it yet because it's way down the road um so this is a bear 400e this is a um battery powered bb gun at the time, it was the only one, but I'm cautious of saying stuff like that because I don't get to keep up. Hey, these people still making videos of Terminator saying they're the most powerful air guns in the world, and I beg to differ. So I don't know that that's the only electric BB gun now, but when I bought it, it was. Uh, is it powerful? No. Is it fun? Yep. <laughs> you couldn't use it for home defense, though, but it's full auto, and it's it's just pretty sweet. All right. So this is my boy Eric's uh, carbine, it's an FSC carbine. Um, we're actually going to do a couple different things to it though before I send it out. Um, but with this barrel and the way it's kicking, it's like sixty, I believe sixty-eight joules. Um, but like I say, we got diff we got we got plans for that one, and I'm getting ready to build another uh, black one too, uh, pretty pretty soon. Uh, that's a BB gun. That's a full auto CO2 BB gun. Um, and that is a TAC SF. If you don't know what a TAC SF is, that's something that's typically law enforcement only. Um, not powerful. Uh, I think it's 14 joules. So, you know, four more than a Berna SD, but um, I think close to 300 rounds with the hopper. Uh, shoots chemicals like a mean mother. Uh, so yeah, it, it's, it's sweet. Uh, that, that right there, uh, even though, you know, everybody wants numbers and all that stuff, but realistically in a crowd control situation, that little 14 jewel beast right there full of, uh, some live X and, you know, Grimbergs or, well, actually it's not strong enough to use the Grimberg kinetics, uh, but full of some, you know, live X or Burnham Max or whatever, um, that thing right there would, would incapacitate a lot more people than a hundred joules, something else. Uh, chemicals are, you know, underrated in my opinion, but, but <laughs> you got to know what you can shoot them in. Um, so there's a Burna. That's my original, my first Burna. Um, I've got three more. I just sold one. I had four, um, in case you can't do simple math. Um, <laughs> but this is my original one. So it's got a, a Wixen comp on it, a Merciless Lethal 12 gram adapter. It's got a Merciless Lethal uh, 10 round mag. Um, I'll always keep that one because that this is what I started doing less lethal videos with. So I will never get rid of that one just because it's just nostalgic. Uh, this is a M7 or CQMF, which is a metal M17, basically. Um, so this one's about mm, 50, 52 joules, I think. Um, this one I actually have posted on my website. It has a UTG uh, handguard uh, TCR barrel. You notice a theme there? TCR barrels, I've tested them against everything that, that you can think of. TCR barrels give the most power to anything they'll fit in out of anything I've ever tested. So when I build a Tipex or a CQMF or, you know, whatever, I'm going to put a TCR barrel in it. Um, and I got a couple more of these than what's hung up. Obviously, there's one that goes there and a couple of little things. So, uh, you know, some T4E stuff, uh, a 50, a 50, a 68, a 50. I like the 50s better than the 68s. Um, but 
they're both they're both great but the 50s these are i know everybody's building them all long and and really really powerful and stuff but i mean i, I even like them just like this you know i like I, I like that um but i i still i like this they're very very effective um they're they're mean little muggers um you know bb gun bb gun bb gun fully auto bb gun um could you use that for home defense well if you're a really good shot and you like hit them in the eye full auto i don't think they're going to keep coming but you know some clothing would stop it pretty easy if you can only do body shots pellet gun charles gave me this i've got dust on everything back here where that friggin grenade went off but ppq but it's a bbr pellet gun ppq and we got the good old 43 caliber ppq now people will ask you know if those you know those and the glocks and stuff what they're good for they're good for training or you can actually get pepper that fits in those and as you can see i'm not afraid to carry it so um so that's something to think about if you do want one i do not 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 recommend one kinetically i don't think they've got quite enough power kinetically um but you know, throw you some, throw you some pepper in there. So, let's see what else. I do got a couple of FSC TCP projects uh, on the uh, on the table here. HDR there. I got a Betsy over there. Uh, again, the HDB over there that I got to fix. Let's see what else. Got this little baby. Yeah, it's not less lethal. But still, it deserves to be showed off. <laughs> this thing is sweet. My boy Slingshot Warrior was like, man, you got to get one of those. I said, yep, okay. So uh, this actually will hold eight if you're just using fill points. But if you're using broadheads, it only holds six. I do have the broadheads. I've never even taken them out of the package. Uh, they have different arrows. The reason they only hold six is they've got a bigger piece at the end for the broadhead to screw in so it takes up more room in your magazine so there you go that's a pretty bitsy i doubt I will, I, that will probably be the that will probably be the fsc that i always keep and then i've got uh my five six seven eight tcr or tcp so I'll probably keep that one always because it's got, you know, a sequential serial number and I'm a dork. <laughs> so, you know, got holsters for, that is a holster actually, it says Berna. It's not for a Berna, I don't believe. I'm almost positive that's a FSC holster. I think I wrote the wrong thing on it. <laughs> you know what? Do any of us care right now? No. And I do still got two of these uh, unmodified, uncustomized, brand new VKS Pros that I've got uh, listed on the website. And these are actually going to come with one of the unobtainable 10 round magazines. And these are black. So, yeah, there you go. I don't know if they count in the collection, though, because I haven't done anything to them. <laughs> but I'm definitely not keeping them. <laughs> All right, there's my Berna LE. I've got the Merciless Lethal 12 gram CO2 adapter on it, and obviously all the crap took off of it, so so I can put something on the real rail and not the bottom rail. Um, I like that so much better than the way the LE comes. Uh, and then, you know, if you want to get crazy, fancy, or, you know, just fruity, I don't know what you want to call it. You can do some weird stuff like that. Puts you... It's <laughs> a real weird looking comp on it. Yeah, I think it's cute. Brenda made that. Will I carry it like that? No, probably not. Uh, but, you know, whatever. Anyway. Oh, that holster over there was for a burner too, because here's the one I thought it was. So that's a TCP. That one is actually uh, on my site for sale. I want to see it. Here it goes boom there it is son so this one uh chamber cap <clears throat> da, 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 chamber cap mill sicko ring this has a, a patrol carbine barrel that's been cut off and polished so you can see the nice dk through that and it makes it the right size for that ulster right you love it yeah you do yeah you do 
Crossbow, 175 pound. Mm, I don't shoot that thing much at all. Mm. <laughs> wow. Tanks for the memories. <laughs>